Tommy explains why PH viewers prefer porn over local films. The heroine died on Black Saturday, and the story ended on Easter Sunday, said producer Anne Prado Magadia on why she thought it was serendipitous that her husband Adam Magadia's film, Dustin, will be shown in cinemas on Black Saturday, April 20th. When we learned that the play date assigned to us, I said Mrs. Kane be lagged. This is really a film for the Holy Week, she told reporters over lunch recently. We thought we were lucky to have gotten it, although, Avengers, Endgame, will be screening after four days. Adam added, we are the only local film to screen on that day. It's a good thing because most big studios put something on Black Saturday. We figure, this is a calculated move since we don't expect to earn much. We simply wanted to get back what we've invested on the film. The recent media gathering for Dustin was also to formally hand over the three acting trophies to lead actor Tommy Atwell and win for Melita the belt that they win in recent film Derby here and abroad. It used to be that when we make films, it's always for local consumption, Tommy asserts. But because of these indie movies, we are now able to get out of the confines of our archipelago. Here. We're always battling for audience attention with Hollywood movies that are made for global audiences. Tommy said this was why producers cannot blame movie goers who prefer foreign movies over local productions. To discuss this, we will have to go back to our concept of colonial mentality, he said. For most Filipinos, anything foreign is good. That's what our colonizers taught us. They suppressed our sense of national pride and inculcated in us that foreign products are better. We grew up being in awe of foreigners. He said this explains why we always want to prove to foreigners that we are good or are better than they are in singing, theater and, now, act filmmaking. It's like we're always seeking for that pat on the back from foreigners. Working on Gaston, which was a finalist in the 2016 Cinemalaya Fest, has been challenging because we had difficulty with the festival's budget cap, Adam said. We decided not to shoot several scenes because we were certain we'd go beyond the budget if we did. Also, there were scenes that were edited out to make the film run for only two hours of the Himalaya requirement, he explained. Asked for his inspiration in making the story, Adam recalled, I wrote the story back when I was still in film school. It was originally a five-minute short film. A lot has happened to me. From 2007 to 2010 I got married, my daughter got gravely ill and almost died, both my parents suffered from cancer and I had a stroke. I included all these experiences in Jackson and turned it into a full-length feature. For Tommy, working on the film has been pleasant, except for minor things. Although the film's title means Heavy, making the film has been very light. We all have fun. Adam, however, left in on an incident that happened when they were about to shoot their last sequence. We had to reschedule because Tito saw me got sick. We thought he might go to the hospital and have surgery. It was actually Dolphins that caused the smashes, Tommy shared with the Inquirer. Dustin, Luke also stars Benjamin Alf and Janine Gutierrez, won a total of 18 awards since the Field International Film Derby in 2016. 4. Tommy, winning awards is a validation of the work you've done. There weren't a lot of awards giving bodies when I was just starting. Aside from his Best Actor triumph at Cinemalaya, he also backed the Best Actor trophies from the Los Angeles Philippine International Film Festival in 2017, and from the European Philippine International Film Festival in 2018 in Italy. For Marita, winning an acting trophy, Best Actress in, a cameo role from the Erduja Film Festival in 2017, was likewise a career first. It was surprising. A lot of my scenes didn't make the final cut at Cinemalaya. My role was short, but I guess it was noticeable enough for me to win an award. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.